Hello guys, uh, welcome to another video. In this video, we're going to be looking at task 20B. All right, the question says, create a spreadsheet to display the times table for any number you choose to enter. Print your spreadsheet showing values and formulae. Okay, so the highlight of this question will be to print spreadsheet showing values and formulae. But in addition, I'm going to show you how to use relative and absolute cell referencing. Okay, so move on. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to my um, spreadsheet. Now I'm going to assume that uh, I'm going to I'm going to uh, create a times table for two times table. I'm going to create two times table. All right. Now. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to have 2 as my multiplication factor, right? And then um, in A3, I'm going to have uh, 1. So let me just have some couple of numbers from 1 to 12. So I'll select the 2 and then get to 12. Yes. Good. Um. Okay, so let me just make it look good by writing times table, just 2 times table, you know, that kind of stuff. All right. So now, how am I going to do this? Now, what I'm going to do is... I'm going to store my result here, right? I'm going to make it in such a way that 2 will multiply 1. I will, store, I will store the result here. And then 2 will multiply 2. I will store the result here before. And then 2 will, will multiply 3. I will store the result in B what? In B5, something like that, and so on and so forth. All right? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put in a formula in um, B3, right? Which says equal sign, of course, a formula. Always a formula must start with equal sign, right? So I'm going to uh, say a3 multiplied by this, which is a1. All right. Now, every time I wouldn't want this a1 to change, so I'm going to lock it. That's absolute cell referencing. So I'm going to lock it by pressing f4. Okay. So you lock it by having two dollar sign in between the a. All right. So I'm going to say enter okay so i'll simply you know replicate that formula okay so now the reference to this will always change so if you if you look at this uh the formula we put in here if you look at the formula bar this is a3 right just watch it a3 if you go to 4 4 you have a4 if you go to 6 you have a5 so which means that the cell keeps changing right the cell keeps what changing, A5. But now, if you look at A1, A1 is constant for all the cells. Okay, why is it constant? Because it is locked, and that's what we call what absolute what cell referencing. It is referencing two in A1, but it does not change. That is what absolute cell referencing. Now, you find out that the A3 references one here, right? A4 references two here right it keeps changing so once you replicate the formula it ch they, they change automatically but the a1 remains constant so we call this one absolute cell referencing once it has dollar sign in between and then we call this one what relative cell referencing because it can change okay so sorry all right so that that's it for that so um Another thing is uh, printing spreadsheet, right? Uh, so now the value showing values and the formula. Let's look at that. Now, uh, obviously, obviously this is values, okay? So the only thing we just got we just got to do is go to file and then print. Go to um, post print. Oh my god. Okay, good stuff. Go to print and then we can print. You can choose to uh, have the labels. Uh, what's it called? The uh, um the grid lines okay by going to page setup all right uh going to sheets and then grid lines you can also have the row and the column headings if you want to if you okay that you can see that here but in this case mm, i don't really want that so i'll prefer to do without them all right good stuff all right so that is it for that so how do i show the formula that are in here Okay, so what I'm gonna do, just go to formula. Oh, you're already there. So go to formula um tab here. Okay, normally you'll be at home. 
and then you go to formula okay formula tab here then if you go to formula auditing group here you see show formula right click on it and then your formula will show okay so you can go ahead and print formula print your spreadsheet with formula okay so formula shows all right so that is that is it for the question all right so let me just uh, freestyle a little bit so uh, for me to remove the formula just go back to the formula auditing group and then click on show formula and then the formula goes away okay so what i'm going to i want to just uh, put a twist to this question so i think the question is, is we're, we're done with answering the question but let me just show us a little um more things okay so i want to assume that let me just get rid of this okay i want to assume that um this will be the one times table okay so i want to have two times table here and then probably have a two times table let me just do this too and then you can do the rest by yourself okay so let me just let me just uh, have a little more sorry a little more to five something like that okay um so what i'm going to do so this by default is already one times table because one um one multiplier one is one one multiplier two is two so this is already one times table right so i want to create my two times table here so what i'm going to do in that same way but a little bit uh different in uh, difference in cell referencing so i'm going to do equal sign right and then multiply this uh by this right and make sure that the that b1 which is the two is locked so i'm going to press um f4 again sorry what am i doing so i'm going to go back there sorry uh, uh f4 f4 right there good for it to lock so good all right so what i'm going to do here also equal sign multiply this by by this and then make sure that this is locked f4 again good stuff all right and then you can go on uh, to the other ones so but i'm going to just do, do this too and then as you can see i double clicked you can drag but i double clicked on this to replicate the formula now this 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 time i may have to drag on this right sorry i dragged over so it doesn't i'm, I'm going to remove that okay so so i dragged over right so i'm going to undo that i will show you and, and that way you can do that so i can also copy this the formula select everything here and then paste so you can still do just that same thing for me all right so that is it so you can go ahead and then uh, uh, try the the fourth one and the fifth one and maybe to 12 okay if you don't understand that so um i think i've done justice to the question so please um don't forget to subscribe to, to my channel um also like the video and uh, share all right thank you so much and um, if you have any question please leave a comment down below I'll be glad to respond to that. All right. So thank you so much. Have a lovely day. Take care. Bye.